Let's start with a new Android project. There are going to be four files we need to change. Let's start with the main activity layout file. I've simply copied and pasted some text views. Now we'll edit the module Gradle file. We need to add the latest location services version. This is the version as of June 2018. Now we'll sync the Gradle files. We'll ignore this error for now and go on to edit the manifest. We'll be adding find locations permissions as well as the Google Play Services version. The Udacity class can show you how to access Google Play Services if you don't already have access to that. Next, we move on to the main activity. We're going to import the Google API client. And we'll have the main activity implement connection callbacks and on connection failed listener. Now we'll set up the Google API client. We'll select the builder, add connection callbacks, add on connection failed listener, add the location services API, and then build. Then we set up the fused location provider client. And we'll grab some text views while we're at it. Now we have some functions to override. We'll start with on start and on stop, where we connect or disconnect the Google API client. In on connection failed and on connection suspended, we'll simply add some log messages. And in on connected, we'll use our fused location provider client to get a location object that will give us the latitude and longitude. The final step here is to check permissions, and if the user hasn't granted permissions, then to request permission. We'll request permission in a separate function. Now let's run the app. After we give the app access to the device location, we have to restart the app so that the coordinates will show in our text views. And there they are.